Welcome back to Stuck Inside Gaming's playthrough of Westmark Manor. Last episode, we wound up in this hell by which our character currently resides. So, uh, we found out that we needed sigils in order to make it through the way out. Yeah. <gasps> Audible gasp! A portrait! Excuse me while I walk all over that. Elizabeth never liked this painting, depicting alchemy devotees trying to find the Philosopher's Stone. Okay, so what about that? Identification kit times three. Minor oil flask. Hello? Picture frame depicting a witch surrounded by deer. She seems to be brewing something in her pot, foreboding and chilling seeing someone so dedicated to their craft. Mm. Nailed shut. Okay, so obviously I need to make something. Herbal mix. Okay. Okay, I've got one more use of the mortar left. So... Let's identify our mystery books. There's a name written here which rings a bell. I have heard of this man before when my father was alive. The name is Alistair Craven. Wasn't wasn't that wasn't Alistair Craven the name of the guy in Amnesia the Dark Descent? Hmm. Peel the pages. A photo of the Westmark estate as it was during construction. Several people are high up on the roof as they assemble the shingles and a tall, skinny man trying to direct them. This thin stick of a man reminds me of someone I think of someone. I think I have met him th met him, though it would be impossible since this photo was taken sixty years ago. Sanity point gained Okay and Journal. The Origins. Uh, Theodore Journal, page one. Angelo Saxon, occult religion stemming as far back as the ancient Egyptian god Kuk, as spelled as Kek or Kaku. Kek is basically an ancient Egyptian deity of darkness. As a concept, the male form was seen as a frog or as a frog headed man. The female form was seen as a snake or a snake headed woman. He also symbolizes the unknown and chaos. The Angelo-Saxon version, known as Nephology, uh, believed that darkness had powers unchallenged by other cults or beliefs. Nephology is based on an old notion that there are beings here older than the world itself. Quote, from, from the nothing, the perpetual endless darkness cometh everything. Unquote, from an unknown source. Uh, no. Symbolic moon meanings. Animal connected with symbolic moon meanings. Animal connected with symbolic sun meanings. Okay. So those should be in my notes then. Oil flask. It's the last one I've got, and I've got two minor ones. Bag of ground herbs. Okay, so I can't just use those.
anyone there? This looks strange. Smudged and dusty mirror with a faint reflection is staring back at me. It's not me. This can't be happening. As you lean in, a breeze of foul stench hits your face. Great. I think I will need an axe to get through this one. I mean, I, I am just pushing it. Okay. Small clock. It also has stopped at 9.20. Why, though? Crimson flask. Hello? Anyone in here? What lies deep within us shall not be dragged out by the natural instinct of curiosity. I have had my fair share of problems, but sometimes faith in science is all we need. Good to know, bud, but unfortunately... Ooh, alchemy lab. An alchemical workbench. There's a useful crafting kit one I should take with me. Interesting. Won't fit in the inventory. Okay, so that leads me everywhere else. So I need... To move some things. My interest in the occult has never been a tidy one. I try. I really do. But the search for enlightenment is a messy endeavor. Eldritch Book. Crafting. In order to do crafting, you need to have recipes for the different things you want to craft. To be able to craft a recipe, you will need the materials an item need that item needs. Materials can be found anywhere in the house. Items that can be crafted range from identification kits to lantern oils and other useful things. Another thing of mortar. Five mortar. Indeed it will. I can make sanity recipe. Okay. To the safe room. See, seeing you here. find out what I can do with that. Missing hands. That I'll need. Stone said to con be containing light. I don't know what to do. Hmm. 
Oh. Ground down sunstone used to blend with other materials. Hmm. Skeleton key handle. I need four bronze. I need three bronze. <laughs> Grind up the pocket watch. Okay. might need this. <laughs> Happy to help. Okay. Ooh. Reliquary key and casket key. Sweet. I needed those. meant to take those. Okay, so I need to find an axe. Try it. And there is nothing here. So I need an axe. the kitchen might be a good start. Mayhaps not. Take. Hmm? What could what be? That's a clock winding key. That's another brass ingot. That's some herbs. can make one ocular piece. Huh. Okay. Now, I haven't gone down this way yet. Yeah, maybe the cellar would be a good place to find massive plate. Minor oil flask. Casket key. I have one. Skeleton key part. X and L. Hmm. 
Oh, relax. <laughs> yeah, it probably is nasty smelling. Some stone. So I don't know what to do about those stones. Need an axe, but where is an axe? It's locked. I don't have another cast casket key. A door with 15. Ugh. Oh god, no, it's the worst. You are cursed. Haha! That's weird. How did I end up here? Well, I mean, we already kind of knew that one. S sulfur. Commonly used in alchemy. Uh -huh. Toad Encyclopedia, eh? been in here, have I? Which is more sulfur. No matches. But this looks strange. Hmm. Not too good looking, but I wouldn't say that my visage is too crepid. seems to hold a lot of books about amphibia. There is a space for a book here. Hmm. Oh, now I have a sigil. One sigil out of all of that. Interesting. Unidentified book. Double door. Pride and joy is the knowledge acquired over the years. Elizabeth hasn't been fond of my obsession, but agreed as long as it was confined to this room. This library holds many tomes of knowledge from a vast array of civilizations and cultures. Haven't had the time to read them all. 
like a kid playing with his toys. Frail cryptic book sits on this podium, and there is a phrase that is highlighted. It translates to, first comes the one, second came last. Then the last becomes third, second is less than the last. Okay, so first comes the one. Second came last. So two is four. Circle one. Ah, then the last becomes third. So that means four and three. Second is less than the last. Fairly simple. One. Three, four, two. Right. Maybe not. It's Pretty sure I've got that right, though. I can't take this anymore. It's something about the horizon, horizontal and vertical, I think. Unidentified. Well, how about we identify? Cryptology book. Ow. Okay. Seems to be something between the books that doesn't fit in these shelves. Lucky for me, I just picked one up. One of my father's imports may work, may be worth having a peek. Huh. An unidentified ring. Plain trinket. Photograph of my mother and father after the wedding. It's a joyous occasion and smiles all around. Family Priest is the only one seemingly withheld from any positivity. His hands seem cold and thinly structured with dry features. Scratch the face. Oh, it rather looks as if the priest had some dirt or dried blood in or dirt dried onto the photograph. He has a very warm and gentle smile, which should soothe any soul. Yay! Sunny to point gain. Photograph of my mother and father after a wedding. It's dry. Oh, well. Another free sanity point, I guess. Water flask. Container with some normal water in it. Alright. Still pretty sure that's right. Maybe backwards? Yeah. I don't know what that does, though. Can't open this one. Why? Is it locked? 
Is it not locked? Not much of interest here. Out of all the places in here, nothing there particularly. Empty. Proliquary key. I have two of those. Uh huh. Identification kits. Ah, inventory's full, that's why. Fifteenth century bag. Plain trinket. Okay. So, safe room. Leave some stuff with you. Like both these rings. Okay. So maybe I can use those skeleton keys now with anything I can find that needs one. Okay. So over here I had stuff I couldn't get. Interesting. Have a G book. Combine. One of the contents book is a thin metal plating. 
It has an indentation that covers if something fits in it. Okay, so I need to find whatever goes in that. Table filled with maps, notes, and photographs from the expeditions we went on. Forever rocking and tossing, the ship never stayed still for long. Travel by sea is against my nature, and I never liked to travel. This was way over my head, but we needed to get to Vernum. Known colloquially as Vor uh, Vernum, the island is located at 62.4 north, 5.7 west. It has no recorded population and is never visited by locals due to the superstitious notion of a lingering curse. The journey should have been straightforward, but after a week on the treacherous sea, the crew's patience is nearing its limit. Okay. Still pretty sure I got that right. First comes the one. One. Second come second came last. Second is less than the last. So the second has to be less than two. First came the one, second came last, then the last becomes third. So. Two, one. I think that's all we've got for right now. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Hoping you're enjoying the gameplay and the commentary. Feel free to like and subscribe, maybe check out some of the other stuff I've done, and as always, if we're stuck inside, we might as well game. I'll see you next time.